today we will be looking into state space tree this is about the construction about state space tree in backtracking we use such state space tree why how when do we use this so this state space tree is a tree structure where we will be having level after level how we get the solution so i have taken this n queen or four queens problem where there are four columns four rows and four queens present and we have to place these four queens so this is not going to be according to the constraint but how to construct a complete straight space tree for this particular problem so now initially we have a node which is going to be zero that is we don't have anything added to it so the, placing this queen q1 on the first row which position are we going to place is our concern so we have one two three four options here so let me have it as one two three and four options which are being given so that is either i can place my queen in the first location or in the second location or in the third location or in the fourth location this is with respect to placing my queen q1 okay so now i if i have placed my queen in the first location the next queen cannot be present in the same column or in the same row so i have three different options for placing my queen two with respect to this similarly here also i have three different options to go so where will i place my q2 with respect to these we'll just quickly look into it. so one is already covered so two three four i have the availability so if it is placed in, on the second row then it is going to be one three four if it is going to be placed on the third then i have one two four as the available space if it is going to be on the fourth box it's going to be one two three which are going to be placed this is with respect to q2 so now q1 is placed q2 is being placed with respect so supposing if first queen on the first box and second queen on the second so all these i cannot fill so i have only two boxes left so the two different places the position where i can go about by having r we will just fill it out so these are for filling the third queen q3 so q3 what are the different positions which i can go about by filling so first location it's filled second location it is filled so i have the third and the fourth location which are available first over sec third over so second and fourth available so first over fourth over second and third are available so here placing the first queen on the second position and the second queen on the first position so i have three and four available so here i have two three over so one and four available two and four over so one and three available three and one over so i have two and four available so two and three over so one and four three four so one and two available so look uh, placing the first queen on the fourth box and the first uh, box this uh, q2 then i have third and the second location so here it is going to be one and three here it is going to be one and two 
this is the positioning for Q3. So now obviously when all my are selected only one place I have for my Q4. So that is the leftover place. So that is going to be filled in this order. So this is for Q4. So first location is filled, second location is filled, third location is filled. So I'm left with the fourth. One, two, four, and the one which is empty is going to be three. One, three, two, and fourth one is empty. One, three, four, and two is empty. One, four, two, and I have third location. One, four, three, and I have the second location. See, here it is the second load which is already done. First one is filled, third one is filled. So four is the only option. So two, one, four, and I have three which is being given. So here I'll be having four and here I'll be having one. So two, four, one, three. Two, four, three, one. So here three, one, two, four. Here three, one, four, two. So similarly, we'll be having all these nodes being filled out. Four, three, one. So first one is over, third and fourth are over, so second one is empty. So here four, three, two and one is empty. So this is the entire space tree that is for each and every tree starting from zero, one level after the other, how the queens are being placed. So this is giving the entire solution. And if it is going to be a condition satisfied uh, solution, then it is going to be a promising node. If the condition doesn't satisfy, then we call it as the non-promising node. So if you get a feasible solution, it is based on the promising nodes which are present. If the feasible solution is not obtained, that is the conditions are not satisfied, these leaf nodes we call it as non-feasible. So altogether for solving this particular problem, we have how many solutions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 nodes. So uh, the number of solution we have got are 24. So it ranks from 1, 2, 3, 4. That is Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. In the case of Q1, placed in the first location, Q2 placed in the second, Q3 placed in the third and Q4 placed in the fourth. Similarly, you have the second solution, Q1 placed in the first, Q2 placed in the second, Q3 placed in the fourth location and Q4 placed in the third location. So that is how you go about by getting the solution. So hope you have uh, got an idea how to construct this state space tree for any any problem how these solutions these are the different types of solution this is how an exhaustive search goes so we have got all the possible solutions for this particular problem so based on this whichever solution is needed we pick it up naming it as a promising node okay hope you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.